What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is an Omni to make a Suburban House. This is the 55th installment of Suburban House, and that number is also getting very big. Um, this one took a lot longer than I thought it did. I actually think it took me longer to make this model than it did the original model, or the tutorial model. It took me longer to make it as a tutorial than it did to make it originally, which doesn't usually happen. But, um, yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so these space you're going to be needing for this is a 36 by 25. It really feels larger than that. And the materials that we're needing to start off are brick blocks. Multiple of them. You need multiple of everything, except for, never mind, I was going to say except for dark oak door. No, tripwire hook. Tripwire hook exists. Uh, what was I gonna do in this inventory? Birchwood planks, hello. Uh, that's kinda important. Smooth quartz blocks. Black stained glass pins. Stone bricks. Oakwood planks. Oakwood stairs. We'll go pillar quartz blocks. And I guess tripwire hooks. Uh, let's see if I can list everything else you need. You need smooth quartz slabs. We already have smooth quartz blocks. You need deep slate brick slabs, deep slate brick blocks, uh, brick stairs, smooth stone slabs, uh, dark oak door, uh, birch fence. I think that's everything. I think. That's like 17 materials or something. No, 15 materials or something like that. I don't know if that's right. That might be wrong. I don't know, because I kind of have finger counted that, and I ended up holding up six, so I'm going to assume that's how many extras I counted, but I have no idea. Anyway, starting from the front right-hand corner of your 36 by 25 grid cough, cough if, a minute. if the front left-hand corner works more conveniently for you, you can flip it. Or you could either mark out your corners, which, that's what I always do. I'll just mark out the corners of the grid, and that really tells you the space that you need or you could uh yolo it and say oh well anyways or you, you could again you could flip it i don't know if i said that i might have said that anyways starting from the front right hand corner you want to count back by three and left by one and going back you want to place 15 brick blocks oh no i forgot how to count hang on okay there's nine Goodness, place for crying out loud. And then go left with eight. That's why I'm saying, uh oh, it's the seven. It's a larger seven that time. <laughs> That's a big boy seven. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to place four rows of birchwood planks on top of that. And then that will give you a uh, 3D seven. I don't know what it is with the sevens in these. What I, what even number is this? I don't know. I'm going to probably try and check at the outro because uh, I need to know it anyways. And again, I always record the I always record the intro clip and then and then I record the main part and then I record the audio for the intro. It's kind of dumb, but I mean, I don't feel like le obviously I don't want to like exit Minecraft and then reopen it just so I can put the audio on. It doesn't really make sense. Then what you want to do is you want to come back to the front of your 7, and you want to come to the second block back here at the inner, we'll say inner side of this. And you want to bring this brick block left with five sideways pillar quartz blocks. Bring each sideways pillar quartz block up with two additional sideways pillar quartz blocks. And then actually you want to trim our Alberto planks off of this, I'm sorry. I thought it was four because I took the other side and I measured with that, but I should just rest this one taller in the garage. And then you can bring this front virtual plank left by six, and then go down to it, this left block, and place a brick block. In the bottom center of this pillar quartz block thing, you place a trip bar. Bad to apologize, uh, I don't know numbers. I mean, you could leave it that tall. Some of it it's going to stay, some of it it's not going to stay. I don't actually know how that works out, though, as of right now. Everything works out really weird once we're gonna get to, once we get to the roofs. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to bring this far left brick block and you want to go back or forward diagonally to the left by one. Bring it left too. 
Back diagonally to the left by one and left. Or back one, sorry. I do not know my directions, apparently. You then want to place six stone bricks on top of each brick block. Okay, that is correct. I had to count off my phone screen. I didn't take any uh, notes because this build took long enough and I didn't really feel like taking any. I mean, I took one little thing, but uh, I just masked it because it's one plus two plus three, which that doesn't make sense. That, that makes even less sense than just six. Anyways, then what you want to do is that the three front blocks here, you want to go left to right or right to left on top of these, does not matter. And you want to play the smooth quartz block, black stained glass pane, and smooth quartz block. It's like that. It looks like an eye. Is that a little Nightmares reference? You then want to copy that row one more time. It had to be done. And then place a row of stone bricks on top, if I could place them. Yeah. I mean, I can, but not right. And then you can bring the two left stone bricks also up by three with stone bricks. Now, the fun part, which is a lie. Okay, so we're gonna finish the back side of this tower. Uh, if you want to remove this tower, if you don't like it, you can. Uh, it is gonna give you a really awkward spot, though, if you just flat out remove it. Because you can see the garage back here, it goes a little bit further than it does at the front. That's to make up for this, because I didn't, obviously there's not going to be another one at the back. I mean, it could be. But I wanted to fill in that space somehow without bringing that wall out more, because then that would create a really weird overlay. And you'll see what I mean later when we get there. So, uh, I mean, if you're going to remove this, I would push that back in and then push this wall out and then connect it up to this. That's what I would do. Um, and then maybe even align your garage and your, uh, porch thingy. So then what you want to do is you want to take this top left birchwood plank here at the front, and you want to bring it up with six stone bricks. Uh, that kind of looks a little weird right now. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to bring that s stone brick, each stone brick there back by two. And then back diagonally to the left by one. Oopsies. And then left by one. So this is basically going to give you a corner. You can see here, it's just going to basically be like we chopped out a corner of it. And then that would be theoretically where the house would slot in. We don't have to build it there. If you want to build it there, sure, go ahead. Uh, however, you don't have to. Also, I would probably make this a stairwell. This would be a good spiral. It would be a good spot for a spiral staircase. Because this isn't wide enough for anything else. But it would be perfect for a spiral staircase. Walking all the way up it. Although you do have to make sure that it aligns properly with the window. Which shouldn't be that hard. I'm not sure. Anyways, moving on. Uh, what you want to do is from this bottom back stone brick. You want to go back diagonally to the left by one. Then place going left an oak wood plank. And then... What is number nine brick blocks? I should have known that. I knew, it was, I knew it was 11 total, but I couldn't remember until after I counted the 9. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, so you can get rid of your pillar quartz blocks and your tripwire hook and get out dark oak doors and birch fence. I believe other than the roof and the chimney, that's everything we need, right? We'll see, I guess. Uh, but what you want to do then is you want to go right to left on top of this and you want to place a birchwood blank. Dark oak door, I can't do that. Dark, dark oak door, which should be on top of the oak wood plank. Hello, are you... whatever. And then nine birchwood planks. You know, it's going to ignore me. I have to make sure that it's right. But Alright, fair. So, we're going to keep going right to left on top of this, and the next row you want to place a birchwood plank. Skip over the door. Birchwood plank. Oopsies. Smooth cards block. Two black stained glass panes. Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass panes. Smooth quartz block and a birchwood plank. You then want to copy that row one more time and place a birchwood plank above the door in addition. And then you want to place three rows of birchwood planks on top of that. Now one of these, or two of them, one of these is going to overhang the left. I don't know how by how much though. 
Uh, it looks like it is. I would quick math that, but I don't have the math skills for that. It looks like it's by four. So if you want to bring the top row left by four, you can. So it overhangs by four. It's like that. Always the overhangs on these houses. But then going right to left on top of this, what you want to do is you want to place a Birchwood blank. Smooth quartz block. So if you don't have your overhang, we're going to end up overhanging. Two black stained glass panes. Or we could just have messed up. Who knows? Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass panes. Smooth quartz block. Two birchwood planks. No, it is right. Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass panes. Smooth quartz block. And a birch plank. And then, again, if you didn't, you should have birchwood a birchwood plank under each one of those blocks that overhangs. You're then going to want to copy that row one more time. And place the row of birchwood planks on top of that. So everything is going to be at the same height. The garage on the left sides are going to be a little bit weird, though. So uh, just be aware of that. Hmm, what shall the next step be? Okay. It's gonna get weird really quick, because the next part... Ne I was gonna say part and portion. Next portion of the build that we're gonna do is gonna be the really weird roofed one, which... it's We're not gonna worry about the roof right now, but uh, it still could create some complications. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know. So what you want to do is run this bottom left brick block. You want to go forward diagonally to the left by one with a brick block, and then bring it forward by an additional three. Ah, I bumped the mic. You then want to go left with five brick blocks. Back with two. We're going to stop with that uh, U or anchor or uh, horseshoe or whatever shape that is. That's more of like a... What are those things? I guess it is kind of a sta staple. A lopsided staple. Or a paper clip that someone unbent. Uh, you can then put... Uh, I tried to say too many things at once. You then can place a stone brick on top of each brick block there. And then just like that. Now going around in the same fashion, you want to place your four stone bricks here at the right side. And then going across the front, place a smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass panes. Smooth quartz block. Stone brick. And then you can go back by two. And then you want to copy that row one more time. Yeah, this is like the really, really, really dumb section. This section isn't that bad. It's the next section over that's annoying. You then can place a row of stone bricks on top of that. Ah, I am not on point today. <laughs> what is this number? Hang on. Then you can bring this far, this front right hand corner, you can bring this brick block right by eight. Then place four oak wood stairs and a brick block. On top of each brick block, place a birch fence. And then you want to bring the two furthest right birch fences, each up by two with birch fence, and then bring the far left one also up with two birch fence. And that should give you this. If you can see it. Uh, there we go. That's kind of an angle that you can see it, hopefully. We're going to leave that alone for now because that's going to lead into the roof, which we A, don't have the materials for, and B, I don't want to do that because the roof isn't fun. But you then can fill in the little middle section. That's not very... I'm uh, sure it's a little... You can fill in this section in the middle here in with oak wood planks along the floor. We're moving along ni quite nicely. Which is always, well, nice. There you go. That's almost the that's almost the front structure done of your build. Uh, we still do have a few things to touch up on, which is really just the left side and then obviously the roof. But that's where that that we will worry about that later. Okay, so come to the left side here in this back brick block here of the stone brick section. You want to go back diagonally to the left by one from with an additional brick block. Bring it left by five. And back by, unfortunately, 18. So when I did this, I didn't actually real. I'm not, I'm just now, wait. Huh. 
Okay. I'm just now realizing that these are off more than I thought they were, which means I don't think... No, I do know the number. But I thought that, I thought I made this 20, but I made it 19 on accident. Because I didn't double count. I just kind of placed it, and I was like... I thought in my head, too. I was like, I might have messed it up, but oh well. And I did. And that did screw me up when I was making the grid. But, um... Yeah, so that... I thought that was in line, so I was just assuming, okay, yeah, that's 22. But no, it's actually 18. Which is interesting. And then what you want to do is you want to place the virtual planks on top of this. Oh, no, now it's an L or an upside-down 7 if you want to go there. Really long 7. Or tall, not long. Then what you want to do is going around in the same fashion. So from the right side, going right to left to back. What you want to do is you want to place a birch plank. Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass pins. Smooth quartz block. Birchwood plank. Then go back with three birch planks. Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass pins. Smooth quartz block. Five birch planks. Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass pins. Smooth quartz block and two birch planks. You then want to copy that row one more time. And then you want to place a little uh, L or 7 shape of birch planks directly on top of that. Just like that. Moving along quite nicely. So what we're going to do, I guess, I'm just now thinking of this. I usually don't plan these enough. I just go on the fly, typically. For interiors, usually I will plan it out, though. Like, okay, I'll do the layout, and then I'll do this room, which I kind of just choose at the time. Which isn't really a professional way to do it, because um, it can end up creating very dumb ways of doing it, as uh, I'm sure most of you have probably seen at this point. But we're just going to work around the bottom, and then we'll work the top back around. So what you want to do is you want to bring this bottom brick block here across the back. So we're going to orient this from the back now again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but you want to bring this brick block left from my perspective by 11. And then you can also bring your each birch or plank left by 11. Just like that. Make sure there's 11 because I feel like it's 12 at the top row. Well, it's 12 total. So I'm mean, I guess half wrong. Then what you want to do is you want to go backward diagonally toward to the left and towards you by one with a brick block. Then bring it left one. Place an oak wood plank and then two brick blocks. Bring that oak plank back with an oak wood, or I guess towards you with an oak wood stair, and bring that oak wood stair left and right with a brick block, which mm, I shouldn't have done that. And you'll see why in a sec here. Um, I think it's fine. You want to bring the oak wood plank here up with a dark oak door. Bring the stone, the two stone bricks left and right of the door, each up with, is it five up there? Yeah, seven stone bricks per brick block. So, ignore these back two here. That probably didn't make any sense. Is this five? Yeah, seven. Because <laughs> I was not including the door in the five. The two for the door. And then you can also place five stone bricks above the door. Just like that. Now, what I'm now realizing is this window is a block higher than the other ones. I didn't do that intentionally, so if you do want to push it down a block, by all means do it. So you will have to break down if you want to do that. But I'm just going to leave it a block higher because I think it's fine. I actually think it's better because the roof is one block taller on this section. So, yeah, but what you want to do is you want to go left to right or right to left on top of this. does not matter. And you want to place a stone brick. Smooth quartz block. Black stained glass pane. Smooth quartz block. Stone brick. Copy that row one more time. And then place a row of stone brick on top of that. And then we will end up doing the section to the right of this later. Uh, that will be... <coughs> sorry. 
That'll be the part that we do when we wrap it around. Although, now that I'm realizing it, we're only actually going to do that little part because uh, this next section is connected to the bottom perfectly. Which, that actually was. But only half. Only slightly. I mean, you could if you wanted to. You could line that up. I think you can figure that out if you really want to. But then what you want to do is you want to go forward diagonally to the left by one from that brick block. And you want to place another brick block. And then bring it left by... Is that seven? Yes, yeah, seven. Place our birch on top of it. Then going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. You want to place a there. Sorry, two birchwood planks. Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass panes. Smooth quartz block. Good lord, and two birchwood planks. PlayStation message notification when I'm really focused is not a great thing. You then want to copy that row one more time. You. I'm 99.8% I'm sure that you didn't hear it or see it, but it still happened. You probably heard it on my phone, actually. You probably heard the vibration. You then want to place three rows of birchwood planks on top of that. Yeah, now that I'm looking at the section, looks kind of, like, fat, which is okay. It'll, I think it'll blend okay, but I just, I don't like the two rows usually on either side. I think it just makes it look like too wide and not tall enough. Then whatever. The, then next up, what you're gonna want to do is go left or right or right to left on top of the next door. It does not matter. You want to place two birch planks, smooth quartz block, or I guess the previous row on top of technically two black stained glass panes, smooth quartz block, and two birch wood planks. But like if you trim off a row on either side, it looks a lot better, at least in my opinion. But I kind of just had to go off of that. <laughs> And also that a little bit. You then want to copy that row one more time. So I basically get a set measurement. And it was, do I want to add windows or not? And the answer was yes. You then can place a row of birchwood planks on top of that. I don't have a window on the other side, do I? I didn't think so. So you then can bring the brick blocks and the birchwood planks all forward until they either... Connect it diagonally with a wall, or I guess actually connect diagonally with a different wall. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're basically just filling this all in. If you want to hold off on some of it, because you, you don't want to just fill it in flat and you want to have the uh, attic available, you can. Uh, I would just fill it in flat and then worry about the attic later, honestly. I think that's easier. But yeah, just like that. And then you're going to want to come back to the left side here at the top. And I'm just going to take the four rows. I actually don't know how many you need. But you do want to bring them backward by 17. Uh oh, I got DM'd on Discord. That's scary. I'm always getting DM'd, aren't I? In these videos. And then you're going to have this little thing, little thingy at the back. You want to just connect this birchwood plank section to the stone bricks. And also connect it down to the wall. And that should give you a flat wall. Just like that. So, we have uh, pretty much an entire building. That is scary. We, we actually brought that up pretty quickly. Especially about my first time. I want to say this took it took me originally like about 40 minutes to do this, but I had a lot of troubles figuring this part out. This whole part was like annoying. Like I did those two sections easy, although I did have to adjust the roofs and stuff. But yeah. Uh, then what you can do is you can clear inventory and get out smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz blocks, deep slate brick slabs. You could always use something different. You could use deep slate tiles. That'd be a good second option. Deep slate brick blocks. I prefer the blocks just because they look more neat. Uh, you do also need birch wood planks. And stone bricks both again. And brick blocks again. Uh, basically everything. <laughs> brick stairs. Where even are they? I can never find them whenever I'm in... Whenever I, well, it's during a video for whatever reason. And then smooth stone slabs. So, now we shall uh, keep moving and do the roof stuff. Yes. Um, well, that was really stupidly described. Anyways.
So, okay, I was gonna tell you to wrap the build, but never mind. Don't don't do anything. Except what you want to do is you want to place a smooth quartz slab on top of each birch fence and then connect them together. Or the sure that works. Not ideal, but it works. And then you want to bring each smooth quartz slab back with a deep state brick block. Then go up diagonally backward with a row of deep slate brick slabs. And then back with a row of deep slate bricks. And then that should connect it to your, uh, whatever that thing is called, yeah. The house. If you want, I forgot about this earlier, but if you want you to go on the underside and kind of just make this look a little bit neater, you can. I am going to. Uh, sure, that works. Uh, I would actually change this front row of blocks to upside down slabs. It would, it'll just give it a little bit more, like, depth to it. Just like that. Like, see, that looks a lot better. And then what you're gonna want to do is... Off the... Okay, so off the left and the right of the stone brick section, you want to place the rest of smooth quartz slabs is up diagonally and outward by one. Only off the left and the right. And once you're overhanging the front by one, and also at the right side, you have this deep slate brick slab here. You do want to break it and replace it with a smooth quartz slab. And then at the front where it overhangs, you can bring each uh, smooth quartz slab inward with a smooth quartz block. Inward with an upside down smooth quartz slab. Up with a smooth quartz slab and then inward, inward with a smooth quartz block. And then you want to bring each... Okay, so you want to bring each uh, smooth quartz block or slab backward with its respective deep slate material. If it will hit this wall. Only if it hits this wall, which will... I'll talk about why in a sec here. You'll see why in a sec, actually. I'm not going to tell you. You'll just see. But only those we need for now because those are going to be special little fellas. Plus, we don't really have anywhere to connect them to, so you're just going to go until you hit a different building in your town. Unless it's the first building in your town, you're going to go to the um, end of the edge of the world. If it's an infinite world, then you're going to be going forever. And then, now what you're going to want to do is place a row of smooth quartz slabs off the left of this birchwood plank section here. And once you're overhanging the front and the back by one, and also, again, be a half a block up. Technically, half a block up. Or up diagonally, outward by one. You then can bring this smooth quartz slab here right with a smooth quartz block. Then an upside down smooth quartz slab. Only the front one, by the way. Ignore the back one for now. Up with a smooth quartz slab. In order with a smooth quartz block. In order with an upside down smooth quartz slab. Up with a smooth quartz slab. In order with a smooth quartz block. Uh. Inward with an upside down smooth quartz slab, up with a smooth quartz slab, and then bring each one of these slabs right by one, and then bring that upside down slab right with a block, and then bring that block right with a slab. And that should connect to your other roof. That's why it also didn't connect it back, because we have this thingy going on. So as you can see, we have this now. And then I would fill in the, sec the back of this in with birchwood planks. Really, you can just connect uh, kind of sort of to the uh, right side there. Just enough. And then now you can bring your deep slate back here at the at the section. And then that will just connect it to the wall. I'll worry about filling this part in later. And then if you want... What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring each smooth quartz block or slab back with its respective deep slate material. Deep slate brick material. And then I'm just gonna bring it to the edge of the wall, and then I'm gonna add the smooth quartz trim on it. Cause the, the smooth quartz trim, if you're curious, it's gonna end touching this stone brick section at the same. Or wait, hang on. How does it touch it? I thought it was an upside down slab, but it's not an upside down slab, is it? No, it's a full block. So you want to? It's gonna be a full block that is in line with the slab, and then it's gonna go more up up than the slab. So, I mean, if you want to just connect it like that, you can. I'm actually going to just do like that, and then I'm confident enough, so I'm going to build back down as well. Which, as you can see, I have some of this already lined up, so I know it's correct. 
And then, or some of it already built, so I know it's correct, since it is lining up with the deep state bricks. This is way more complicated than it needs to be. And then this, and then obviously once you get a wall, just don't fill in anything. And then that should be a deep state brick slab there. I believe, why do I not remember that being there? Okay, I did a smooth court slab there originally, but I'm not going to do it here because this should technically go down and should connect to here. So I, I don't know why I did a slab or a smooth court slab. That's probably too busy not paying attention. Just like that. And then now what we're going to do is come to the right side and we're going to do these this roof the garage roof i was gonna do this roof too but this roof has to go along with that roof we're gonna have to do that roof i think at the same we're gonna have to do them at the same time um to get it correct i think i'm not sure we'll see but what you're gonna want to do it's gonna be not fun to explain is off the front and the back of the uh garage section you want to place the rest smooth quartz slabs again upward diagonally outward by one or backward and forward and it wants to overhang the right side by one and then you can go about your business connecting them. So, moving inward, smooth quartz block. Opposite on smooth quartz slab. Up with a smooth quartz slab. In with a block. In with an opposite on slab. Up with a slab. In with a block. In with an opposite on slab. Up with a slab. You get the drill. And then you should obviously do it from both sides. And then you should end with an opposite on smooth quartz slab with a slab on top. Just like that. I'm gonna be honest, ninety nine percent of the time I don't remember what it's supposed to end on. All I know is it's usually either one or two block. I usually know if it's one block or two block that will be in the one block or two blocks that will be in the middle, but I don't know anything else. And then again you can bring each smooth quartz thingy left with its respective deep slate material. I'm gonna get less and less or more and more vague as we go about this, aren't I? And then some of the um stone brick section will be uh masked, which is fine. Same with the birch, obviously. Actually, a good amount of the birch will be. But I think it's just better to do it that way. Not gonna lie, I used to not like the double slab when it was when it was a two block center with the slab roof. I used to not like that, but I think I'm actually starting to like it more than the normal roof. <laughs> normal one block. I'm not gonna start doing it two blocks intentionally because I don't really do it intentionally at all. I just kind of say, okay, I want this to be 20 total, and then it ends up being 20 total. And then it's a two block center, obviously, at that point. But that could have ended up being a one block center. That if I got the uh, left side right. <laughs> As in what I was trying to do, which was 20. But yeah, it's like that. So, I don't really know how to go about this next part. Because we have three roofs that all connect. And I. <laughs> okay, we're going to mark out the uh, main one. So you want to off the front and back row of birchwood planks here. You want to place the rest of smooth quartz slabs again, upward, diagonally, outward by one. And it overhangs the left and the right by one. Where it can, don't go across the, uh, do not go across the stone brick section either. Stone brick section. You just want to basically go, um, ignore it. Just kind of stop once you hit the one at the front and the one at the back. You want to go through, like that. And then the left side, only the left side, you want to bring each smooth quartz block in with a, or in, each smooth quartz slab in with a smooth quartz block. In with an opposite on smooth quartz slab. Up with a smooth quartz slab. In with a smooth quartz block. In with an opposite on smooth quartz slab. Up with a smooth quartz slab, and then you want to keep this going until my battery doesn't die. <laughs> until you reach a peak. Point, which should be two blocks for this. Ooh, I went too far. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's just two blocks. Just like that. Okay, I know how I'm going to do this. This isn't too bad. So then what you want to do is you want to come to the back and you want to place a smooth quartz slab up diagonally to the left and up diagonally, oopsies, to the right of the stone brick section, the flat one. And then you want to bring each one back by one. Bring each smooth quartz slab in with a block. Then an upside down slab. Up with a slab and then inward with a block. Please place a block correctly for once. Just like that. 
And then that's almost all the framing. Now we just have to frame this little guy, which is going to be the not fun one. So what we're going to actually do for this is we're going to... I'm going to frame this, and then we're going to start to build this, because I can't really frame this one. So I can sort of frame it. We'll frame it as we go. But what you want to do is you want to take this far right smooth quartz slab. It should be diagonally touching the stone bricks. And you want to bring it forward by one. Forward diagonally to the right by two. Right two. Back diagonally to the right by two. Back two. Back diagonally to the left by two. And then left by one. Just like that. And then you want to place a deep safe brick block on top of each stone brick. They have the exact same texture. <laughs> Wait, is it literally... No, it's a little different. It's the same, like, shape, but the actual texture on it is different. And then you can bring... So, you you have your two two rows... The Okay. You have your two little rows of two, and you want to bring each one just inward by one, kind of keeping the pattern going. So, you should have a three by three now. And then you want to go upward diagonally inward and place a 3x3 three three of deep safe brick slabs. And then in the middle place a deep safe brick block. Uh, it looks like a little mushroom cap. I wasn't a fan of it originally. But if you're going to change it, make sure that if you're changing it to stairs, you change the smooth quartz slabs here to stairs. Because I tried it if you don't and it looks worse in my opinion. Because you're going to have a stair here, probably, or a half, or another block up, which is going to look even weirder. And it's just with the weird, like, with the way that, with how much the slab sticks out, and without, with how much it doesn't, like, I think you know what I mean, though, between the stair. Because, like, the stair is this part up here, the top part, that uh, makes it seem like it sticks out less, if that makes sense. Maybe, maybe not. But anyways, then what you want to do is you want to bring your smooth quartz slabs or blocks here all the way to the right with its respective deep slate material. And then um, once you hit the right side, you can just start marking out your um, trimming. If you want to mark it out now, you can. I'm going to mark out at least some of it. Or if you're going to mark it out, once you just line it up at the top, when you're working back down... You're going to have a smooth quartz block and then just place a slab in front of that block. And that's just going to kind of connect like that. And then for your, uh, whatever this thing's called, the stone brick section at the back, the flat one. You just want to bring either smooth quartz slab here at the, the bottom ones that are already two back. You want to bring them back by an additional two. So then the deep slate brick slabs will basically connect into the sides of them. And the smooth quartz slabs will basically override them. And then the next rub, which will be the deep slate brick blocks, will just wrap around the slabs and connect as normal. And then same with the next row of slabs. Connect to the front, I mean, or the back, technically. This is a really complicated roof. And then the deep slate brick blocks, which will connect to the one block peak. And then after that, it is completely normal and smooth sailing. My goodness, this is a uh, definitely a doozy. Uh, hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Uh, it is gonna be Thursday, the day that you're seeing this. This week has felt fast, and I don't know why. Because last week was a... I had a half day on Wednesday, and it felt slower. But this week has felt like Sonic Speed. And the next week's Thanksgiving, which is actually really scary, because then it's almost Christmas. And Christmas is scary, if you, if you know why. It might be scary to me. I don't think it'll be bad this year, though. It'll actually probably be worse than last year, but... You know, well. For goodness. It feels like Halloween was just, like, last week. And to think in... A week from today... At the time that you're watching this... Most of us will probably be getting ready for Thanksgiving for us Americans. And then after that, it's going to be Christmas. That That is really scary. Uh, anyways, then what you want to do is you have all these gaps in the sides of your um, roofs or whatever. You want to fill them in with birch or planks or stone bricks or whatever else should be there, which it's only going to be those two, actually, because no one wants to see into your attic. Um, 
I was gonna say something about that, but I didn't, now I'm not. Because I don't really know what to say. Honestly, you could consider this a mansion if you really wanted to. What number is this also? I should probably look into that. Although, you'll probably know, because you could either A, read the uh, title, or B, uh, listen to the intro, which... Well, I haven't made yet, technically. That's weird to think about. <laughs> I reverse order it. That'd be fine if I made the outro first, actually. I need to start recording the outro separately and then make them first. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Oh, wait, we also have our uh, chimney. I almost forgot, which would not have been ideal. Uh, let me make sure that's everything, though. It is. Okay. So, if you want to do it at the left side, you can. If you want to do it at the right side, you can. I'm going to do it on the right side. Uh, right side, I think, is better. So, you have two middle blocks, and you want to place just somewhere along the wall there, along the birch. Just place two brick blocks. You can go either forward or backward. More so, I'm going to go more back. So, place one more. Going in the direction you want. Bring these brick blocks all the way down until they touch deep slate bricks. And then if there's a if there's a slab or a block visible below it, you want to break and replace it with brick. And then you want to bring these all the way up, and you do want to have you're gonna have to break some of your roof. And you want to bring them up till they're about a block and a half shorter than where you want them. I think I want it like that tall. Real no really no measurement. It's th minus three blocks taller than the roof right now. And then you want to bring each brick block left by one. And then again, if you have a slab like this, you want to break and replace it with a brick block. And also, I have a full block at the front there. But what you want to do is you want to place at the front, and the back. At the front, you want to place two bricks. You want to place a brick star on either front block facing facing forward. Place a brick block on either back block facing back. And then the two middle ones, you want to place one facing right on the right one and left on the left one. So it should give you this. It should basically indent on every single side. And then you want to place a little 2 by 3 smooth stone subs on top of that. I have not made a chimney in a good minute. But yeah, there's my chimney. If there's ever a house that you're, you're like, well, I want this to have a chimney, then you can just make this chimney. This chimney should fit on any house. Uh, I would look at, I don't know which house, just look, just, just kind of scroll through my thumbnails and find one of the, re one of my, one of my most recent chimneys that isn't on a, one of these houses, that isn't on this house. And that you can tell isn't like doesn't have a section to the like to the side of it. So like let's say you removed the garage, then that one would be the thing that we're looking for. That looks extremely busy. All right, so once you're done, once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your suburban house complete. The whatever installment complete. I said complete in the wrong. I said that in the wrong order. Oh well. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much. If you guys did enjoy this video, please load YouTube Studio. Uh, this is the 55th installment, by the way. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.